اشرح صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقدة من لساني يفقه قولي الحمد لله لا ابغي به بدلا حملا يبلغه من رضوانه الامل ثم الصلاه على خير الورى وعلى ساداتنا اله وصحبه الفضل We praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and send peace and blessings upon our beloved messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam upon uh, Al-Itriya, upon his family, his companions uh, and those who followed him until the end of time. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. It's great to be here, alhamdulillah, in, uh, in Minnesota. And it's, it's an honor to be with our brother, inshallah, uh, as well as the Amal uh, community today and to visit the different masajid and meet the imma uh, and see, alhamdulillah, the believers, uh, the Muslims. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continue to bless, inshallah, the ummah of Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We're in the month of Ramadan and we know that this is one of the five foundational acts of Islam, buni al-Islam wa ala khams. Islam is based on these five things. One of them is fasting. We also know that one of the companions of Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he came uh, to the beloved messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and he said to him, Ayu a'mal al-afdal, like what's the best thing I can do? And he said, Alayka bi siyam fa innahu la nadhira la. Or kama qala sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He said to him, you know, you should fast because fasting, there's nothing equal to fasting. One of the... Uh, Fruits of fasting, because as one of the great scholars, Sheikh Walila Dahlawi from India, he mentioned one of the great mujaddid of the science of hadith and asanid and isnad. He said in his book, Hujatullahi Baligha, that you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has not commanded these acts for nothing. مَا خَلَقَنَا السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضُ وَمَا بَيْنَهُمَا بَاطِلًا Like Allah didn't create the world, the heavens for nothing. As an extension of that, the acts which he commands us to do, there is great maqasid al muqaddasa. You know, there's great wisdom and, and great objectives behind the things that we do. One of the, the goals of fasting is to remind us of something that most of us don't like to think about, especially as we get older. But this concept is so important that uh, Imam uh, Ibn Taymiyyah he said that almost every single page of Quran mentions this and that's death and the hereafter so you know Surah Fatiha we begin Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Maliki Yawmiddin Maliki Yawmiddin right it's the hereafter وَبِالْآخِرَةِ كُمْ يُقِنُونَ Right? Next page mentions the hereafter وَلَهُمْ عَذَابٌ أَلِيمٌ Next page mentions the hereafter وَقُودُهَا النَّاسُ وَالْحِجَارَةِ The next page mentions the hereafter وَبَشِّرِ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَةِ The next page mentions the hereafter SubhanAllah, almost every page of the Qur'an the hereafter is mentioned because we too busy buying Yeezys and following Kanye. We're caught up in everything but the hereafter. Bitcoin, right? Are my eyebrows straight? Is D Rose going to be back? We're too busy caught up in arguing about the moon. One of my teachers used to say, if people were as passionate about Jannah as they 